Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about migrating Platform I.O. and Arduino IDE over to a new Macintosh or to the existing Macintosh if you're upgrading to Big Sur or a newer operating system, newer than 11.2 11, 11 in and around. We could see that this is the new Mac Mini M1 in this example. This is brand new. It doesn't really have any software on here right now. Just a couple of things, enough to just get us going for this demonstration. So let's get started. I have this video that showed the migration from Arduino IDE to Platform IO. It had discussed the uh, installation of these VCP drivers. Uh, this video talked about the location of these drivers and where to install them. These drivers have been updated for the new version of Mac OS. However, you'll get a notification that the extension is blocked and you'll have to open up your security preferences. So I'm going to go to system preferences. Then I'm going to go to security and privacy. And we will see that there is a notification below that that specific issue here relates to the driver that's trying to be installed and it's blocked. I'm going to click here to make any changes. I'm going to type in my password. Now I'm going to hit allow. Close this. And now the driver is able to install. No problem at all. Close and we're done. Another small uh, insignificant change is that an icon for it actually appears in applications. It doesn't really have any bearing. If you click on it, it'll tell you that if you want to uninstall it, move it to the trash. Other than that, there it is. Let's you know it's installed. With that, I found no problems running Platform I.O. I'll tell you that using the Time Machine backup on the old system and pulling that Platform I.O. directory directly into documents was sufficient. After using the YouTube video that I had provided, which showed the installation of Platform I.O. initially, on top of the Visual Studio. After that, everything appeared to run just as before with no changes except for recently opened files and stuff like that weren't there. They had to just be uh, manually opened again. So if I went to open, it didn't have a long list of recently opened files. Other than that, I could go to Open Project, go to my directory, and all my projects were there as they were before. I heard that there were issues compiling and especially pushing projects to the device. At this point, there are no apparent issues doing so, as we see demonstrated here. Everything operates just fine at the time of this video with the updated software on the computer. Moving on to Arduino IDE, again, I have a video that discusses the installation of Arduino IDE, link below, but it was uh, getting started with ESP32 development using the TTGO T display, and it discussed the installation that also covered the CP210X driver, which also talked about the simple extra step that needs to be done in order to install it on the latest versions of Mac OS. And I just started with a fresh installation. And then what I did was I used my time machine backup from Arduino and dropped that entire Arduino directory into my documents directory. This is a brand new installation for computer. As you can see, there's hardly anything here. But just before, as I dropped platform IO in, the documents I also dropped in Arduino, all my Arduino projects, no problem at all. Very easy to get going in that regard. However, there are some problems we need to discuss with Arduino ID, so we're going to fire it up now. Allowing access to files in the Documents folder. And we are running version 1.8.13 of Arduino IDE. Here's where the problem is out of the box. And the assumption is also in following the instructions that you set up your serial 
for communication and which uh, ESP32 you wanted to use and following the earlier video. You can see I'm set up here, CU USB Serial 0001. I've also used uh, USB UART in previous videos. But I'm going to load a test program, examples, ESP32, chip ID, get chip ID. Very simple program, essentially shows the MAC address. We go to push to the device. And we come up with this error, specifically this line that I would like to discuss and how we could get this working. Shame it doesn't work out of the box. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to preferences and we're going to click on this preferences.txt down here, opening it in Finder. We can see library, Arduino, and the version number. And over here is packages. Go to ESP32, hardware, ESP32, version. We'll see platform TXT. We're going to open it with the default text editor. And we're going to take a look at this line right here. Tools.esptool underscore py.cmd equals ESP tool. And we're going to change that to esptool.py. And then we're going to save. We could close that. Now we're going to go to the tools folder and we could see ESP tool PY. I'm going to hit copy. We're going to go all the way back to packages ESP32 tools ESP tool underscore PY 261. And then within this directory, we're going to paste it. Now I'm going to, need to open up a terminal window to set the executable flag in Launchpad. We can find it in other terminal. Obviously, the directory name will be based on what your account name is, but it's users, your home directory name, library, Arduino version, packages, ESP32, tools, ESP tool underscore PY, and that version. So I CD to that directory, and we'll have a look. And we could see that the ESP tool.py is not executable. As indicated over here, we're going to have to set that as executable. So we're just going to say chmod plus x ESP tool.py. We'll review our changes. And there we go, it's looking good. If we run ESP tool.py, we'll see an error. The same exact error we would expect to see if we compile the program, and that is that there is no serial module found in this instance of Python. So we're going to go to the GitHub page for PySerial, looking for the latest stable release. At the time of this video, it is 3.4, and we're going to download the zip file for the source code. Opening with the archive utility, I hit OK. Once in downloads, we'll move over to the terminal to continue this installation. In the terminal, we're going to need to be super user or administrator to conduct the following tasks. So we'll do sudo s, type in our password. And now we will go to the download directory. And we see within that directory is setup.pi. So we're going to run Python. Setup.py install. And there we go. It is now installed. We're going to test this out now by going back to our directory with the ESP tool script. Here's that directory. Have a look. And now we're going to run it. And we could see that the missing serial library error has cleared, which tells us that we can now open up Arduino IDE for testing. Let's do that now. So we'll open up Arduino again and repeating the same test as before in examples, 
down to ESP32, chip ID, get chip ID. We're simply going to push it, see what happens. Looking better. And there we go, writing to the device. Now I'm going to change my my serial for 115200. And it's working. So that's it. That's Arduino IDE. Is now running in the latest Mac release. Big Sur. Along with Platform IO. Everything's working fine now. I hope you found this video helpful, entertaining, and insightful. Enjoyable. Do me a favor. Click that like button down below. Helps me out a lot when you do. And hit that subscribe button for more videos like this when they come out. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Would you like to reply?